And first here at 6 o'clock, it appears a five-month-long search for a missing girl has come to a tragic end. Yeah, investigators believe they found the remains of 17-year-old Valerie Tyndall on her neighbor's property in Rush County, just northwest of Rushville. WRTV's Jessica Grundling spoke to Tyndall's family and learned more about an arrest in the case. Valerie Tyndall's parents were here at the sheriff's office as investigators broke the news that human remains were found on a property just feet from their own home. They say they're absolutely devastated. Devastating. Mind blowing. Valerie Tyndall's parents are trying to wrap their head around what happened to their daughter. She was first reported missing five months ago. My daughter didn't deserve this. You know, we just want answers. Right now, we just want answers as to why. Tyndall was 17 at that time. Her parents reported her missing on June 8th to the Rush County Sheriff's Office. Early on, 59-year-old Patrick Scott was named as a person of interest in the case. In June, he was charged with falsifying information to police. Scott knew Tyndall. They were neighbors, and she worked for him. She also hung out with his family, like his granddaughter was her friend, and we went places with them, me and him, and her and him, and family. Now Scott is booked in the Rush County Jail. On Tuesday, investigators were executing a search warrant on his property when a body was found. Investigators won't specify what led them back to Scott's house. Over the course of time, with all the material, all the evidence that we have gathered over uh, the process since June, led us to the suspect and the properties that he owned. But say as soon as the body was found, Scott was arrested for murder. I would like to send my heartfelt condolences to Valerie's friends and family. Tyndall's parents say Scott and his family never helped in the search for their daughter and tried to tell them that she ran away. But her mom, Sheena Sandifer, says that became harder to believe after she missed her sister's graduation and her own 18th birthday in August. I think I hoped, so I hung on to that. I wanted to believe that she did, but I didn't. Now they're remembering her as a sweet and funny teen. She went from failing to uh, getting A's and B's. I was so proud of her, but I never got to tell her that. She, this is someplace they have to submit her from college. And hoping to find more answers as the investigation unfolds. There is none. There's going to be a hole there forever. There was a hole there. We thought she was out there somewhere. There was a hole and it's never going to be filled. In Rushville, Jessica Grundling, WRTV. The Rush County Sheriff's Office says they are now waiting on the coroner for a positive ID and cause of death.